So, I've been thinking. Greetings, citizens of the Empire. Uh, it is I, Way Out Dan, also known as Super Dan, also known as Dan the Man. I have many names. And uh, it's, it's Sunday morning. I miss church. I slept in. Overslept. I don't know why. These things happen. But, got myself some coffee here. Some cinnamon. I should be all set now. So, I wanted to talk about heaven. Everyone's favorite subject. Uh, I had an idea about this. I, see, over the years, I've heard many people have different theories about this. And a lot of them claim to have scriptural support. And then they argue with each other, saying the other people are just plain wrong and they're in denial. But uh, I find that their uh, evidence is very thin. Um, but there's different theories. Some people say that when you die, you go into what's called soul sleep. And <clears throat> you, um, and it isn't until everyone is resurrected in the last days that uh, you get your new body. And only then do you experience time again. In the meantime, you're just totally unconscious. You basically didn't exist. Um, that's one theory that's out there. So we, so we all begin the new heaven, the new earth, the new Jerusalem at the same time together. Some of us being resurrected, some of us still being alive and escaping even the sting of death. There's another theory, though, that um, absent from the body, present with the Lord. Boom. And they say that happens in real time the same. It happens at the same time that time is happening on Earth and at the same rate. It is uh, It's just a different place. <clears throat> and um, talks about uh, Jesus with the two thieves on the cross. And he tells one of them, I assure you this, this day you'll be with me in paradise. Well, the thing is, this day, by whose perspective? People try to say, well, that's proof that it happens that, that, it, that day. It happened that day in history. And I'm like, well, maybe not. Maybe only by the thief's perspective. Because if he goes into soul sleep, wakes up again, it's um, going to be like the next day to him. How does he know the difference? And if he was to wake up in some sort of utopian future where we have even better technology than today, and where people are even more respectful of each other than today, that's going to seem like heaven to him. And maybe that's all that heaven is, is the future earth. I don't know. Maybe it's not all renewed in a moment when Jesus comes back. It might be a process that Jesus comes back. I don't know how it all works. So there's all these different theories. Well, I had my own theory. And it's not really based on anything. It's just a wild idea, really. And that is, what if heaven's time is at right angles to our time? In other words, what if you have a timeline and, you know, this is the past and over here is the future. And some people die here in like the first century. Other people die here in the, the 16th century. And other people die here in the 22nd century. And... Wherever they've died along this line, they all begin living this way. And so in this, this becomes one moment in heaven's time. They all begin living in the same moment at the same time. They all died from different time eras. But they all begin living in heaven. And, and the thing is, this would imply that like there's a bunch of if regular time, our time, like goes like this horizontally, that they're cutting through different slices of uh, potential realities, and it reminds me of that anomaly from Star Trek Generations. If you've ever seen the movie, you have this energy ripple. You go inside of it, 
you don't keep living creating new life. Your life has ended. But you can go up and down your own timeline and relive any part of your life that you want. And you can even make different choices and have it come out differently and change it. But you don't actually get to create new life. You only get so much life. And what if, what if that's what heaven is? Because there's still talk about having to live your life on earth to its fullest. And there is talk about this second judgment where people are rewarded for what they've done. They get some people, everyone, you know, who accepts that they're a sinner gets into heaven. They accept Jesus, they get into heaven, you know, but that's just the bare minimum level. People who have actually like done good things, get rewards, they get extra crowns and stuff. So what if by living a good life, you have more good times to visit or something? Could be something like that. You know, I'm not saying uh, there isn't also additional stuff. It might be, it might be more complicated than that. It's probably something I have, no one's ever even thought of. It does say in the Bible uh, something about, you know, that it's never even entered the heart of man or something. Some of the stuff that there is, well, I can't remember where that is or just how it, it's said, but <clears throat> it implies that it's going to be something no one has thought of, and it's going to be even better than you could think of. But anyways, I think it's an interesting theory. What if it's kind of like this, this energy ripple from Star Trek? And, and the time that you experience in heaven is at right angles to earth time. And that way, both, you know, the soul sleep idea and the idea of, like, present immediately, they're both wrong and both right at the same time. And uh, I just think it's something worth discussing. Uh, anyways... If you if you like this video at all, you thought it was interesting, please hit the like button. That helps me out. It doesn't doesn't uh, do anything to you. You just go bloop. Very easy. Hit the like button. Uh, leave, leave a comment if you're feeling ambitious. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can visit my store at wayoutlife.com. I've got shirts, hats, backpacks, all kinds of things. You can show other people that you live the way out life and you like to think about all these crazy things and make observations on the culture and on science and religion. And um, also be sure to visit my blog, wayoutdan.com. Uh, I got links in the description to a whole bunch of my projects. Um, you can check that out. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching.